What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the current situation of the iOS 11 and iOS 10.3.x jailbreak. And there is quite a lot to talk about because a lot of stuff has been happening in the background in the last couple of days. Some of the things have been reported by me on the channel. Some of the things haven't been reported. So I'm going to sum up everything in this video so that you can understand what to do and where to stay on which version and what's going to happen. Now I'm going to start as always with telling you which versions are currently signed and on which version you should stay. Now an iOS 11.x jailbreak will be created and it's very very close. So keep that in mind. If you're running iOS 11.1.2, 11.1.1, 11.1, you are safe on the iOS 11 side. If you're running iOS 11.2 and 11.2.1, uh, hard luck. It's not working with these two versions that are currently signed. And you can see that these are the only versions currently signed, which means you cannot downgrade anymore to iOS 11.1.2, not even if you have blobs, since there is no way you can set the norms for the moment on this particular versions. So if you have iOS 11.2 and iOS 11.2.1 on your device currently, I'm afraid that there is no jailbreak that is going to come for your device. An iOS 11.2 and iOS 11.2.1 jailbreak has been achieved by uh, Alibaba's security team, but we do not know whether it's going to get released or not. About that jailbreak, check out in the description down below. Anyways, if you're running iOS 11.1.2, there are many chances to get a jailbreak in the future. In fact, a couple people are working currently on some jailbreaks and uh, some projects that would at least give you some functionality that may as well turn in a jailbreak in the future. I'm talking about Stick 29 in here with uh, his fork of async awake fun and Ninja Prawn. And uh, these two guys have this async awake project which is based on Jan Beard's async awake uh, exploit. And um, they managed to modify it so, so that they can get root, so that they can get quite a lot of patches going on. And there is even a uh, file that made on this exploit that helps you get completely root access. And you can find it on various uh, on various app stores like Tweakbox and AppFolly. And uh, that gives you full root access without having a jailbreak. It's based on this async exploit. So it's a very powerful exploit and people took it um, into their hands. and they're trying to build a jailbreak on top of it. A lot of people managed to get Cydia working on iOS 11.1.2 using this exploit, even though there's still a lot of stuff to be uh, made and there's still a lot of stuff to be uh, configured in order to have a fully functional Cydia. The simple fact that they got Cydia running on iOS 11.1.2 without a full jailbreak being available, it's pretty dope. So um, check out this forks of um, async awake fun if you're interested in getting root access or if you're interested in you know getting uh, stuff to work on your device on iOS 11.1.2 in terms of you know like root access and files that with root access or even Cydia even though it's not working just fine currently. Now uh, something you should keep in mind about this forks is that uh, once your applications have root access that's pretty dangerous. So if you're not very experienced with iOS, I would recommend against these projects for the moment. Don't get me wrong, they're very well made and they're very good for development and stuff like that. But messing with the file system when you have full root access means that you can actually remove stuff, which means that you can end up in a boot loop if you're modifying the wrong file. So try not to work too much with the um, you know uh, root access files um, and with async wake if you're not very experienced. Anyways, these two projects in here might be uh, very useful in the future for a jailbreak. And yes, uh, there is a problem, Cydia has to be updated. But as you can see here, Sorik, the creator of Cydia, said that he is working on iOS 11 updates for this. So he said it in a, um, in a Reddit comment in here that you can read. I'm going to link it in the description down below. But anyways, yes, we're going to get a CD app that works on the iOS 11, which is dope. Now, uh, I have Houdini in here. And the reason for that is that from what I heard, it might be updated in the future for the iOS 11. So that's quite nice. It might be um, 
updated to make use of the you know async wake exploit which is compatible with ios 11.1.2 and lower ios 11 and uh, that would be dope currently it works on ios 10.x uh, to 10.3.2 now uh, speaking about sorik and uh, his effort to get cydia working on ios 11 for an upcoming jailbreak there is actually a patreon that has been started on which people can contribute with one dollar per month in order to help you know sorik and the found to keep on working on Cydia and of course to found the um, expenses for the servers because uh, you know the servers cost and um, you know keeping Cydia up and the millions of people who are using it uh, to be able to get fast access in Cydia it's pretty much big so it costs quite a lot of money to keep this up so if you can help Solric uh, and if you can pledge uh, one dollar per month go ahead and use the Patreon link in the description down below. It's his official uh, Patreon. So let's help the creator of Cydia to keep Cydia working. Now, uh, of course, I've been talking about the iOS 11 uh, up to this point, but what about iOS 10.3.3? Well, the situation is good for 10.3.3 as well, at least for the 32-bit devices. Teamstar is making efforts to get the iOS 10.3.3 jailbroken on the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C and, you know, 32-bit devices with iOS 10.3.3. And uh, he made quite good success. He got Cydia running, he got the mobile substrate working, and uh, a couple hours ago he has posted a picture in which he's got a theme running, you know, with custom icons, this one here, which means he's making very, very good progress. By the way, that's an iPhone 5. Uh, the iPhone 5 hasn't seen a jailbreak in over two years, which is going to be dope, since if this device gets jailbroken, it will pretty much be jailbroken for life, because iOS 10.3.3 is the last version that this device can update to, so there will be no updates to break the jailbreak for this particular device. Well, what about the 10.3.3 on 64-bit then? Well, Timstar is using the uh, Vortex exploit ported for 32-bit in order to make this jailbreak on 32-bit uh, uh, iOS 10.3.3 happen. Now, Vortex exploit, this one here published by Saigusa, is compatible with 64-bit devices and it was initially made to uh, work on 64-bit and it then has been ported to 32-bit. But um, as far as I know, Timstar is not currently working on the 64-bit version of the jailbreak, although the exploits are in here. Now, I'm pretty sure somebody will take Vortex Exploit and make a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 64-bit um, in the near future. That's probably going to happen with such a powerful and, you know, quite well-made exploit that works uh, from the very first attempt uh, compared to other exploits like Ziva or Triple Fetch. And uh, therefore, I think it will be jailbroken in the iOS 10.3.3 on 64-bit at some point. But the uh, iOS 10.3.3 on 32-bit devices, so iPhone 5 and 5C, will definitely see a jailbreak pretty soon uh, from Timstar. So that's pretty nice. And that's pretty much what's going on currently in the jailbreak community. Uh, if you want more info about this particular jailbreak project, you can can check out in the description down below i have some videos for each particular one uh, in which i talk in depth about them this video was just a recap so that you understand what's currently going on and um yeah, do not try to update to iOS 11, because uh, if you're running iOS 10.3.x, you can no longer update at this point. You will update to iOS 11.2 or to iOS 11.2.1, which are not jailbroken and do not have publicly available exploits for the moment. So you're going to go in a death trap. Do not update to iOS 11, because it's too late now. Stay where you are. Anyways, I will keep you updated, guys, with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Would not hurt to save, by the way, your iOS 11.2 and iOS 11.2.1 blobs just in case and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching do not forget subscribe to stay updated as I said we'll keep you updated with anything that moves in the jailbreak community I'm Geosnow until the next time peace out